What's good YouTube? This is Purebred Physiques and today we did a high volume arm workout. We started today with some close grip bench press, some 10x10. 10 10. It's, uh, it's a, some German volume but it's a little twist on it. What it is is that uh, you need to pick up a weight so that by the fourth set you can hit the 10 reps. So it's not your typical 10x10 10 10 and you hit all 10 reps and then you go heavier next time. So it's just a little bit of a twist so about the, four, the fourth set you can hit all 10 reps. I started with a plate uh, 25 I believe. And here you see Nick doing with the play 10. So that was our first tricep uh, movement we did. Yeah, so close grip is real good for power and uh, for mass on the triceps. Uh, this was Gabby's heaviest set. He did a 205. Then here on my set, this was the heaviest I went, uh, 185. On uh, the, my last rep, I don't know what happened because all the other ones were all pretty smooth. And then as you'll see, when I get to the last one, it's like biggest grinder of life. Like I don't even understand. Like watch this. Nice. Oh, the struggle is real. <laughs> the blooper. <laughs> all right, so the second exercise that we did was a cable curl, same thing, 10 by 10 except we picked the weight by the fourth set that we can't do all 10 reps. So exact same thing, we did a, um, we took just a lap pull down bar, like a long straight bar, and uh, we kept our elbows tight, and we just did the, the reps that we could do. We used the, uh, the wide grip pull down bar just because it simulates more uh, the, like an Olympic barbell because it's so much longer than using the closed grip. I think we went a bit too light on this because uh, we got 10, uh, 10 reps on every set using the same weight so we should have went a little heavier. So the first two exercises, the close grip and the cable curl, it's uh, part of my program that I'm doing right now so we decided to do that and film it for you guys but after that you guys are going to see we did, did a couple of supersets that are going to come up soon but uh, from this point I, it was, I got a lot of blood into my biceps and right there you see there was some struggling. So here as you see, I like to keep my elbows nice and tight to my body and I do full range of motion so at the bottom I'll pause, make sure I get a full stretch on my biceps and I'll squeeze all the way up to my shoulders. I find that gives me the best contraction and I just like to stretch on the biceps, especially with the cables. Alright so in this one we did a superset, some dumbbell curls and some dumbbell skull crushers. We did about 4 to 5 sets and how many reps did we do on this? Uh, I think like... 6 to 10. I think, six, yeah, 6 to 10. I think that was, what, 40, 45 pound dumbbells, I think. So we did that. We try to squeeze at the top, like I said, like any bicep movement, you want to squeeze at the top. And then you'll see me go straight to the uh, skull crushers. We did, instead of a straight bar, we decided to do some dumbbell. I just feel like we can squeeze it more. And it's also a bit harder, too. So we took, I think those are 35 pounds. So we did that for the same amount of reps. So that was our first superset for arms. So this was my last set. I like to do my dumbbell curls one arm at a time. And uh, these were 60s. Uh, what I do is I do a lot of warm up sets and then I do one really heavy set. So I only got three reps on each arm for this. I took this idea from Michael Hearn. I saw he did a lot of one arm curls and doing lots of warm ups to just do one set heavy to failure. As you see here, a really big grind. I was trying to keep my back as straight as possible. That's why I got a pretty stick stick point. And then uh, straight into dumbbell skull crushers. These were 45s. I like these too because uh, I can go a lot lower than when using the bar. Since I got the dumbbells on the side of my head, I can actually bring them lower than where the bar would usually hit my forehead. I really love these. Alright, so the next superset we decided to do was a French press, a superset with a hammer curl, same thing, 4 sets, 6 to 10. And with this, with the French press, uh, or, or overhead press, whatever you guys call it, what you do is just make sure that you stretch as, as far as you can on the weight on the bottom, and on the top you just squeeze it. And then you see me here doing some hammer curls. I did about like maybe a split second pause at the top, just to make sure you're squeezing it and not just swinging it. So that's the main thing for hammers make sure you just keep your shoulders nice and tight and just a little squeeze at the top of it. You'll see right here, it's half a second, that's all you need. And stretch your, squeeze your tricep at the bottom, just really stretch the bicep. So 
So here I'm doing the 105s. At Gabby's gym, the 105s, like the 135s, are made with like these rings, as you see, and the dumbbells are just super big. And so it was different than the ones at my gym. I wasn't used to it, but I wanted to stick with the same weight that I normally do for about six reps. Then I went on to some uh, hammer curls, just like Gabby. We both did the 50s. I think I got five reps uh, each arm with this. Felt pretty good. I hadn't done hammer curls in like the longest time. They're not in my program, so today was pretty fun to do them again. All right, so the last superset we did, it was just very easy. We took a rope extension and superset of rope curls, four sets, 10 to 20. What I do is you really see me, you have to squeeze at the bottom, not just go through the motion. You'll see me squeeze every time those tries, just trying to get all the butt into it since it was the last exercise. And you'll see me jump right straight to the rope curls. So same thing guys, what you wanna do is squeeze it at the top for about half a second and at the bottom just squeeze it your uh, triceps out and you'll stretch more in the bodies like that so same thing stretch and then I squeezed it now you'll see Nick doing his set right here this is one of my favorite supersets I either do this as a warm-up or like we did today as a finisher it's just really good and what we also do sometimes is uh, we go up the stack, so we'll go to do like four drop sets on the press downs and then we'll do four drop sets on the curl. Crazy pump, all the bloods in your arm and like it just feels really good. So this was our first uh, arm workout with, with Prebred Physiques. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned an exercise or two, new rep schemes. You guys should really try that German volume training. Yeah, just try it out. It's good. Right before your, you start your arm super sets, just try it at 10 by 10 with the close grip and incurable curl. Those are some big mass fillers. You can do them with dips or whatever you want, but try it out, guys. And uh, hope uh, hope you guys like this uh, arm little, little arm video we did for you guys. Yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe, and see you guys at the next one. Peace. Peace.